morning everybody from me and a room of requirement that actually doesn't look too horrendous for once i have spent the last like a couple of days i think i will have told you in the last vlog fully just like getting this place into shape again we are on the last leg today which is literally the the funnest bit i saved this bit for me and you which is just having a reorganize of the bags up here and also taking out all of the summary bits and packing those away and just making this look really nice and autumnal but also really neat because it's not meant to have summer autumn and winter all in there at once so it's looking a little bit crammed at the moment i'm gonna have a little reorganize of the shoes once we're done as well i also have a hair appointment booked in today which i'm kind of nervous about and by the way my hair is disgusting right now because i was due a wash last night so we're just we're just a few we're a few hours overdue but it just seemed silly to wash it last night it's not really good for you to do that like back to back so going in like this but today could actually be a disaster or it could be really great i don't know but i'm thinking of changing my hair i've actually been talking to my hairdresser about this for i think the best part of maybe about nine months i've been wanting to change my hair but obviously we had the wedding coming up and i didn't want to do this to my hair and potentially hate it and then always look back at that wedding hair being like that i just didn't didn't want to risk it but yeah anyway i'm thinking of getting some little fringy pieces like not in the same way that i've had before i really want just like some wispy wispy fringy bits like nothing too intense no matilda jerf is that her name my brain is actually fully blanking none of that crazy big dyson fringiness like i would like to like roller it forward a little bit but nothing crazy big and thick it doesn't suit me it doesn't it doesn't look great my hair type actually doesn't do that fluffy dyson blowout thing particularly well but what it does do is a cute little french chic bang i will insert some photos on the screen i also just made a tiktok so if you are on tiktok you've probably seen the inspo already but i just wanted something subtle something subtle i have had a fringe like this before i've had quite a few fringes like this before and i did really enjoy them so i'm, I'm gonna see i haven't even i don't think i even told ryan and he's gone he's gone out now so he may not be expecting me to come home with a new haircut and i also can't decide what i'm going to do with the color either i can either leave it as it is or i can go a fraction darker which i tend to in the winter nothing crazy i've gone very very dark before but the reason i didn't like it is when it grows out it doesn't match my roots and then it looks like i have a really thin parting and i don't like that it's not for me so i don't ever want it to be darker than my root but what i normally do in the winter is take this root color kind of all the way through it still lets a little bit of light in on the ends but it does give it more of a glossy more cohesive look where at the moment i've got lots of different kind of segments of my hair that are different colors it just kind of makes it look very neat which could be kind of nice i'm i'm honestly i'm doing this on the fly i hate when i do this but i've been back and forth on a fringe for the best part of nine months now so i'm thinking we might just have to do it and get it out of our system and then at least if i don't like it i know and it's just wispy and thin and it will grow out really nice and quickly i have a huge forehead so i'm quite happy to like lose a little bit of forehead to the fringe the only thing i don't like doing is losing extra hair like i love how like thick and long it is but it is now so long that i feel like i can do a fringe without feeling like i've just lost all of my hair whereas the last time i did a fringe i cut quite a thick bang situation in and my hair wasn't this long so yeah but until then i'm going to do a little bit of tidying of the wardrobe i've got my vacuum bag which i don't even bother vacuum bagging of summer things here ready for some new additions and then i also have some knitwear that i need to find a home for these are really cute pieces i actually wanted to wear this today but i think i'm going to walk to my hair appointment so leggings it is these leggings by the way are from tala they're so nice i decided to try some bits from them i think i've bought a bodysuit in the past but that was it but oh my god these are the nicest leggings like i feel like they make your bum look so nice they it gives me aloe yoga vibes which is an active wear brand that i love but without the aloe price tag but they've got that same kind of like a little bit of a texture to them and they're really soft i wouldn't say they're as soft as the aloe ones because they are out of this world soft i wear my aloe ones more as loungewear they're that soft but these are still really nice and soft and stretchy and they've got a little bit of like a texture to them which is kind of nice like just visually they've got a texture but it doesn't feel like they're textured they're really nice i like them a lot i feel like they're just very nice and shaping and they're really high-waisted as well which i love and then i've paired them with my navy adenola top so that i'm all navy okay first off i'm going to start with blazers i actually 
have two that's straight off the bat. I think these need to go. I might do a little Depop session this afternoon because some people might like these, but I literally haven't worn them and I feel like that's so sad. I've got a cropped linen blazer and then we also have this full linen blazer and I have never worn it and I keep not giving it away every time I do a seasonal clear out and it's gone through like four seasonal clear outs now and I've never worn it so that has got to go. This reformation blazer, do we keep this? Again I haven't worn it. I just don't really think I'm a blazer girl. This was meant to be me packing things away into the bag but I think it's turning into more of a clear out like straight off the bat. Denim jacket can go into storage, actually the shorts probably can as well. This I I don't really wear until spring so we're going to save some space see you in a few months or half a year jack moose cardigan that's much more of a spring summer definitely not going to be wearing this color anytime soon oh my little red coat i feel so sad at the thought of this having to go away but i am not going to be wearing a red linen coat anytime soon oh so sad that was one of my favorite outfits of the summer denim waistcoat that's definitely a summer piece linen waistcoat 100 percent a summer piece knitted vest you can go away linen trousers oh my god this is so sad i just love all my summer clothes so much do you remember when i used to be an autumn girl where did she go summer tops some pieces feel a bit more like season neutral like I can wear them in either season but this top is not one of them so you've got to go i have this in white brown and black so i'm definitely covered pink shirt see you in the spring linen shirt another linen shirt off shoulder pastel tops that's definitely a spring piece not necessarily spring summer but very bridal i'm thinking of depopping a lot of my bridal pieces just so someone else can get the wear out of them and not spend a fortune i don't know when i'm gonna wear them anytime soon oh my god we need to go through my trousers at some point you guys because there are so many pairs so many pairs of trousers so many black skirts Ooh. this is the top from my wedding dress i'm hoping i might get to wear her at some point maybe for like an anniversary dinner got her with the goey alti tops and oh that's very bridal maybe i should sell that <laughs> This is so nice. I didn't really realize how much all of the spring summer stuff was really overwhelming me until I look at it now and it just looks so nice and autumnal and organized. The bag situation is kind of tricky. It was looking a lot more visually pleasing during the spring, but now that I've kind of had to swap out some of my summer bags for autumn bags, this middle section isn't as cute as it once was, but this section I love. It's very autumnal. I'm really enjoying that and the same with this section I'm really enjoying like the burgundies and the car keys. It feels good to finally have this sorted after basically an entire summer of neglecting it. This end of the room is also not terrible, which it normally is. We just have an entire chair of things that I need to kind of sort through, either give away or put on my Depop that we've just taken off of here so we're finally there we finally have a clean room of requirement and it feels so good this means i can now unbox my new candle which i literally i got when we went to do our wedding scenting at joe malone in the summer and i have banned myself from opening this because it's for this room i banned myself from opening it until this room was fully oh my god i can smell it until this room was fully sorted. This has been my motivation. So this is one of the townhouse candles from Joe Malone. Oh my God, it smells incredible. This is just marzipan, like pure marzipan. What's it called? It's called pastel macaron or macaroon. Oh my God, I cannot wait to burn this in here. It's so pretty and it smells so good. It's just delicious. So that is my scent of choice for the newly spruced room of requirement. Sabrina Carpenter and I didn't even mean for it to it be. is isn't it but I like it this is the finished hair you can make it look more or less fringy I think once I've like washed it and styled it myself and found my texturizing spray I'm not sure where that is but I feel like that is an integral part of this hairstyle once I've properly styled it myself and washed it with my own my shampoo and conditioner I swear using your own shampoo and conditioner is like an integral part of having your hair look right after you've just had a fresh trim or cut but yeah i have 
little bangs you can make them look more or less fringy but I'm just kind of like sweeping them to the side at the moment I think it's really cute as well when I have a tuck and there's just kind of a little bit i'm gonna show you properly in the morning though because the light has just disappeared on me i was like why is it so dark like i don't understand it's getting dark at like 2 p.m i checked the time and it was 4 p.m i don't know where my day goes whenever i get my hair done my day just disappears but anyway yeah we've done a little bit of a what's the word like we've dragged my root color down a little bit so i'm still like same color on the ends i've just had a gloss put over the top so it's gonna look a little bit darker today but yeah i've had my colour pulled down just a little bit lower just so like the bangs are, what's the word, like all like uniform one colour because what I didn't want is bangs that had highlights through them and then eventually that would grow out and then my bangs would be really dark but then I'd have like blonde on the rest of my hair and it just wouldn't really make sense so it needs a little bit of training to sit forward it kind of currently doesn't want to do that because i've had my hair parted for so so long so i'm gonna sit with a roller in this evening and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow i think a roller and some texturizing spray to get it to like sit further forward we need to train this because it currently just wants to be here which is cute I really like that. I think I wear a lot of hats in the winter, like my baseball cap. I'm going to try and wear my beanies more this winter as well because I have so many cool ones that I love and I don't wear them enough. But what I know from my experience of having curtain bangs, I've had them before, I know that I get on with them, is how cute they look with a hat. So I'm very excited for that as well. Yeah, dry shampoo is going to be my best friend though because I do remember when I used to have bangs. This is like back when I was at like college not college like in America that's like your high school years because we call like your high school years college and then we have university as your college back at that point I had a fringe like so so similar to this and I loved it but I do remember dry shampoo being my best friend so yeah I'm excited to style it tomorrow morning I also am really excited because it just looks really cool with straight hair and I really like that I love having my hair straight but I haven't really felt like my hair suited like my hair cut has suited being straight for a long time now so i'm really excited to be able to have my hair straight a little bit more but yeah i really like it i like how much lift it has and how much more shape my hair has just in general at the moment even if i like sweep it to the side i like the fact that i can wear it still parted and i like the kind of overall shape it has i don't feel like it's really coming off on camera the color is perfect this is my winter this is what i had last winter but yeah last winter i do this every year we like we're between i think it's like a six and a seven gloss or toner or something like that or whatever dye it is and in the summer we mix two together and just in the winter i just go for just the one color all over and I love it and I, every time I do it I forget how much I love it but every time it gets to summer I want to be lighter so it's a perfect system I think I love that we have that routine and like we just knew what we were doing and I know that I love the color it's just such a nice cool toned brown but still like lets some highlights come through I think you can kind of see a little bit I love it so yeah very happy with the new hair excited to style it and get it into the swing of things a little bit more over the next week but very happy with my very what felt like a kind of last minute decision to get bangs but really this has been in the works for so long now and i like how much i i actually originally was like i don't want a sabrina carpenter bang but these actually are unintentionally sabrina carpenter bangs i didn't realize how light and fluffy i would need to make my bangs in order for them to replicate the sabrina carpenter kind of look i like the shape that i get on side profile i think it's really cute <laughs> everybody this is video evidence of me leaving the house i thought those of you that requested that i actually do that this week would enjoy this i'm with my husband we're actually in brighton to pick up the brace that i told you i broke in the last vlog so it's ready so we are picking it up i've got to tell you you guys i don't think i'm going to be doing a lot of leaving the house because it'd be freezing it's cold it's miserable and uh i've got to tell you i don't really plan on leaving the house often this winter so enjoy us being outside whilst you can do you know what i think would cheer me up um a wedding ring clean no but Matcha. we'll say yes mm, close close but no oh no it's freezing he's not developed psychic abilities yet sadly i quite like a hot chocky oh, it's freezing i have my retainer complete with a very creepy mold of my teeth why do i have this who knows 
got a little hazelnut hot chocolate from Pratt. I always get soy milk and always hazelnut syrup and it basically tastes like Nutella. Stunning. One thing about being with Ryan is if you agree to go into town with him, you will end up in a book section, specifically the cooking book section. Loves a recipe book. We're in M&S, Ryan is being sensible and buying dinner food and I am buying a coat for Rosie. excuse the state of me I have been frantically packing to go to Paris I'm actually doing the first leg of my journey this evening I'm going to London and I'm gonna stay in a hotel because otherwise I would be getting up at five o'clock in the morning for our train and I just I can't bring myself to do it so I booked a hotel there's a hotel across the road from St Pancras by the way I feel like my hair is not the best representation of how it actually looks right now like the fringe I am loving it's so nice the footage from the day I had it cut it was super dark and I don't feel like it did it justice especially because the colour hadn't settled yet I've washed my hair actually twice by now which is actually quite a lot for me in the space of a week anyway things you didn't need to know and the colours settled a lot more and like my root colour is a lot less dark it's really nice like it's just kind of like lightened up a little bit and sits a bit better with my skin tone but I don't feel like in this vlog I, I've been vlogging for other vlogs and in this vlog I feel like every time I've turned on the camera I have looked so bad whereas I've actually been filming a what I wore in a week as well on the days that I'm not filming this vlog and I look really nice in it my hair looks nice my outfits look nice everything looks nice and in this vlog all I've really done is check in with you when I look terrible but I'm actually really enjoying it it's quite long at the moment because I haven't properly done it like when I do it with my air wrap like the fringe sits shorter and it like has more volume which is really nice but this is like me I washed it last night and I've rolled out of bed so it's not looking amazing but I love wearing it with my glasses and a claw clip like it just it's cute I'm really enjoying it though if I'm honest I feel like I may fiddle with it more than ever so if I come on here a lot and it's parted it's because I don't actually want to fiddle with it whilst I'm talking to you because I know for some of you it just seems to make you rage I don't really understand why but for you I will part the hair and just stop looking at it and stop faffing with it but yeah we have packed for Paris I actually my suitcase is abnormally large for like two nights away but I wanted to take a change of coat going away in the winter is so annoying like if this was a summer trip I would need nowhere near as much space in my case but yeah I've got a change of coat change of shoes a couple of evening outfit options for tomorrow night which is just gonna be so fun such a nice girly trip so we are actually going to be repeating our girly trip to Paris that me and Amelia and Victoria did last November last November I think the trip was more of a everybody is having a cry and we're all gonna band together and have like a fun girly night kind of thing and we just loved it so much that we are going to make it hopefully a tradition like a pre-christmas tradition and i'm i'm loving that so i am packed i have got a new pair of comfy trainers for wandering around paris because vic wants to shop this time and I want to make sure I'm comfy for that because that is like an Olympic sport. Shopping with the three of us is an Olympic sport. But I have Uggs for the second day because it's just nice to be comfy and cozy. I'm just halfway through packing my tote which basically just has a really random mixture of things at the moment like a lint roller, a battery charger complete with charged batteries, a phone charger which I will be giving back to Amelia because that one is actually hers deodorant keys very important and then there's probably about 65 lip glosses and three fragrances in there so that's that's all we've got so far and then i'm gonna throw snacks in there and my laptop and i think we are good to go so i will check in with you when we get to the hotel and i'm just gonna have a little night to myself in london I, do you know what i'm really excited about i'm very excited that i'm staying basically at st pancras like right opposite st pancras station I'm so excited for all of the food options available to me tomorrow morning. I'm not even a breakfast person. Like breakfast makes me feel physically unwell. Like I can't, I feel sick whenever I eat breakfast. The earliest I can have breakfast without actually making myself unwell is like 11 o'clock. However, I think our train is like 10.30. So I'm gonna get myself a little something to have on the way there. There's a blank street and there's also a Joe and the Juice. So very excited oh my god also i got a new phone case sorry before i go i just had to show you i got the road phone case the autumn one i think this is the espresso shade it's so nice and then i got the lip balm 
that goes with it as well. I also got the lilac one. Where is that? I'm not sure where I've put it, but there's not a lilac. There's like a mauvey, browny, taupey kind of color. And I got that as well, but I think this is my favorite. Also, I find it so pleasing that it matches my nails like so perfectly. I'm very much enjoying my autumn era this year. Now that we have the fringe, I'm very much enjoying the autumn vibe. Anyway, yeah, I'll check in with you when we're in London. <laughs> Checking in, I booked the teeniest, coziest room, but this is so perfect for just what I need for this evening. Gonna have a little view of King's Cross in the morning. Gonna have a nice sleep here. Tea and coffee. I love this hotel. I just, I've been coming here for years. I love like the layout and where everything is. Perfect little bathroom. Lovely. I love that even the cutest, teeniest room has a full length mirror. This is my, my favorite thing. Hello, can I order some room service please? Can I get the kale and roasted pumpkin superfood salad and the sticky toffee pudding and then a still water please? Thank you so much. everybody today your favorite trio are being reunited after weeks and weeks of separation we have got a girls trip what is i'm gonna now call our annual girls trip to paris is happening today i'm so excited i slept like a baby which is amazing it has taken me a while to wake up this morning though i can't lie i'm a little bit groggy but i'm about to check out my suitcase is all packed my stuff is ready and i'm going to check out and go across the road i'm gonna hit up blank street for a matcha and then go to joe and the juice for my breakfast acai bowl i'm I'm very excited for this and so looking forward to this trip to Paris. I can't wait. We're staying in a different hotel this year, which is one that I've never stayed in before. I'm very excited. I think Vic is a big fan of this hotel. So very excited to go and see what she loves about it. And oh my God, dinner tonight is at my favorite favorite restaurant in Paris so mm, can't wait anyway let's go it's quite dark in here so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see my outfit very well but I actually sold this outfit from a what I wore in a week that I've been filming so you will probably see it again at some point but I've got my mango long kind of I think this is a wool coat and then a Zara body low-rise motel jeans that I got I will link where I got these from because I didn't get them from the motel website. And then I actually have a new pair of trainers, which I'm really liking. They're kind of a like chocolatey brown, almost suede material, but I don't think they're suede. They're so comfy. Oh my God, like the material they're made out of, it's just like molding to my foot. It's gorgeous. And then I've got my Reformation tote. And then for my earrings, I actually thought I wasn't wearing any earrings, but I am. I've got my Fendi hoops, the most comfy earrings ever. I literally don't even feel like I'm wearing them. Oh, and then my tiny, tiny R necklace. I always forget. I'm wearing this. This is from Monica Vinader. It's real gold, so I literally like never take it off. My fringe is still settling. I really wanted to wear it as a full fringe today, but it's got a bit too much volume and it's sitting really short. It looks cute in real life, but like the camera just really does not make me look cute with a fringe, but IRL, I love it. And in TikTok videos, I love it. Just on my phone camera, it picks it up so well, but this camera hates it. Anyway, let's go. As if this is your freaking passport photo. <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Good morning. Hi, hi everybody. Hi. Stop. <laughs> that is stunning. Oh, no, it was. No. I, I literally just had my makeup done by Nikki Makeup, and I was like, and, and you know, what happened is she wanted me to take some passport photos of her. So I said, oh, babe, would you mind taking a few of me too? She was like, yeah, fine. Both end up getting fantastic oh my god honestly i just like quickly you know just whipped vic's passport open and i was like no stop we are not cut from the same cloth in all fairness mine was taken in 2018 oh there you go 2018 that was like last year <laughs> so don't worry I can't. you get the color version of it as well and it's even more of a sleigh than the black and white which i don't know how that's possible because everyone looks better in black and white except you wow this is so good wow Ooh. oh well, you've got have... a different passport cover as well yeah you just got the new one see this is how long ago i have my passport photo taken it's still red 
<laughs> Take it oh, I back. Miss, I, miss the red so <laughs> I know. It's giving autumn. It's giving pre Brexit good time. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> we miss it. <laughs> It. We did not we, vote we for that. Europe, we, we miss you. <laughs> yeah. I miss being able to go to Paris on a driver's license. No, wait, have I? I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> you used to be able to do that, no? <laughs> did Probably, I make that up? Yeah. No, you could do it. You, you can did, still do yeah. it for Scotland, which is fun. Just any kind of idea, wasn't it? Good times. Time. Anyway, we've <laughs> <laughs> got our asso bowls. <laughs> Sitting outside and being wafted by the lush, wicked pop up that's opposite us. It smells very nice. But it's everywhere, isn't it? It's no, everywhere. I don't even know what it is. What is it? What's the story about? Is it a witch? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No, you know something. You know something. It's yeah. like obviously based on like the Wizard of Oz. Oh, is yeah. That what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. And it's like a theatre. I was no. going to assume you've never seen it in the theatre. No. I actually haven't either, but I know weirdly a lot of the songs. But yeah, it's like the storyline is based on that, and you have like Galinda, the Good Witch. So Dorothy's Alphabet. in it. Uh, Dorothy's in it, and a red slippers. I'm not sure if Dorothy is in it. Oh. I think it's like there's. Like a prequel. I, yeah, I kind of feel like it's giving a prequel. Okay. There's going to be so many people screaming right now yeah. because we both don't know, but yeah. I know I know some. Whereas oh. you just genuinely asked me what Wicked was and I was concerned. <laughs> I've never watched it. No, to be fair, neither have vibe, but no. yeah, that's the vibe. It's like Wizard okay. of Oz right, vibes, okay. hence Thank the you. green. The green. Okay. The green, because she's witch. green. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Can I come yeah. to the premiere with you? I obviously need to go. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Have you seen the big, like, there's a big Christmas tree down there that's yes, like the that. Wicked Christmas tree. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. It's giving, like, really nice festive vibes, but also, yeah. like, it's lovely. I love it. There's the wicker tree! Yay, it's so cute! <laughs> We're uh, going to Blank Street because I just told Vic about this vegan chocolate banana bread and she's like, we have to get it. Quick detour to search for Amelia. Where is she? Where is she? She gone through? <laughs> oh, bye! We're here! I'm trying to slide We're in Paris! We made it! The theme of this trip is brown. The colour theme is brown. <laughs> We've got a van coming to get us for all the luggage. We were just wondering where Amelia's gone and we just see her. <laughs> She's just in the background vlogging. I think we do have time for coffee if people got coffee. This is the cutest little jacket I have ever seen. I am gonna need to know where this is from. I love it. It's so sweet. There is no better feeling than coming out of Garden Or and just being like, ah, oh, yes. We made it! <laughs> apart from the bit where you have to run away from everyone offering you a taxi, that's not the best bit. But apart from that, the best bit, walking out here and just... Everything is so pretty, even the Burger King is aesthetic. <laughs> this is the biggest Uber I think we've ever gotten. Thank you. You're welcome. we go. <laughs> you can really tell the difference between the Reformation one and the real one. Oh my god! <laughs> Are we here? Is this it? Thank you so much. Thank you. Bonjour. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Checking into our room. Thank you. Oh wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. The bedroom. Look at it. Oh my god. Vic, look! He's so cute. <laughs> My God! <laughs> I need to see the bathroom. I heard Amelia squealing at the bathroom. Wow! Oh my God! Shroom! <gasps> oh my God! This is so stunning. Time for some shopping. Oh my God! They're so cute. Yes, this is our time to shine, baby. Try them on. Let's have a look. We love. We love these. Oh, they're polarized. Like they're like reflective. Is there a regular pair next to them? Yes. Yeah, because yours are like mirrored. Are they? Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's a bit weird for me. Oh my god, they're adorable. Do I look like a crazy scientist or not? No, I don't think you do. 
like that. It's not really. Uh, it's not yeah. No. Oh my god. These little mini ones are so cute. I have these but in glasses form and I love them. What do we think? Yeah. Oh my god, I love those. Do you want to trade? Yeah. Trade. <laughs> Swaps. I don't think these are going to suit me. No? You just suit a square. Yeah. I give salt bay. <laughs> I give salt bay. These suit you a lot. What do we think? Yes. You like these? Yes. Ooh. Those are giving like ski chic. My eyelashes are, are rubbing against them. This is actually giving ski chic. It really is. It goes cute. Yeah. I feel like that's perfect yeah, for you. Yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah. When you wrap around the I really like, like these. Guys. But I also love these. The girls were like, it's giving JLo. I like these. I mean, they're all amazing. I also have these, but in like the reading glasses version, and I kind of love them. I also don't know if they're giving Matrix. Maybe a bit. So maybe it's these. I'm trying to persuade Amelia to go home with they this bag. It's so phone. cute. It's a phone. If it's a, like this size phone fits in. I mean, I never put my phone in my bag. I don't know why that. Do you not? Me. <laughs> I love it with the scarf. This is such a vibe. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so cute. Please buy it. Do you remember when we all used to say feeling spendy? Feeling spendy. Was that your thing? Yeah, bring it. Oh my back. god, it's actually. I'm with the queen of feeling spendy. And bring it back. I was literally just sat here like, who used to say that? I'm standing with her. All the eras we've been through. Eras. The I eras. need to bring back feelings, Becky. No, you actually should. That would be, that's a great TikTok series. Along with bougie car errands, which I'm the biggest yeah. fan of. Then when I bought a house, feeling spendy kind of just like stopped. We stopped feeling, feeling so spendy. <laughs> no, I don't feel spendy anymore. My finances are drained. <laughs> this Renault. Not the Renault. The Renault. Not the Renault. Not the Renault. Not the Renault. Not the Renault. Yay, thank you. Oh, so cute. I have never seen so many women in one go wearing the Mew Mew reading glasses, the little oval ones. Literally, we walked out and there was like three women just on the way out wearing them. So if you're wondering who wears them, apparently chic French women. So it will not be argued with for the few people that didn't like my reading glasses. We're on a campaign to get Vic to buy this back. Oh my God, it's so tablet! That's the other one. This is so chic. Oh my that gosh. That is gorgeous. I think it's a bit too chic for me. No, that is. No, I think it actually is such a vibe. I love it. Oh no, stop it. It looks so good on you. You want a night out? No, like that Chanel clutch you have looks amazing. That's very chic. Yeah, no, I do. No, no. Is it like old money and I'm more like designer? No, sometimes like, sometimes I put on a pair of shoes and they're so like chic and demure that I'm like, my mum would wear these. Oh my god, it also comes in this style. That's so cute. That is a little bit of me. Oh my god. Yeah, this whole little strip is. These are some good bags. Okay, new campaign. Victoria to buy this. It's so nice. It's like chic Barbie. I love it. This one. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh my god, the shoes, the shoes. They do the sexiest shoes ever. And still really comfy. Ooh. I kind of like it. No, they're so cool. Oh my god, love, love. Okay, well, Vic's running off with them. Okay. Do they come in black? They do. They're so cool. Oh, they're good in black too. They're so nice. I think the toe's a bit long for me though. Hello. Oh, you're stunning. You're stunning. Oh. Oh my god. We have all now tried on the same pair of boots. The side throws me off, but front on I love. <laughs> Susie's just unboxing her new purchase mid-street. I, I want them for the pick. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to wait till later. We'll re-unbox. Okay, fine. Okay. Oh, cut. <laughs> of the evening i did not get to uh check in with you or do a get ready with you it will be on tiktok but this is my outfit i'm wearing a house of cb little black dress with the really nice long sleeves i've got amelia's little chanel bag which she kindly lent me and then i have these green renees on which are amazing they're so sparkly oh and i have my aurelia heart earrings in and that is it no other jewelry let's go it's looking so sparkly show us oh <laughs> It's amazing. Oh my god. This is new Holland Cooper, right? This is my Holland <laughs> Screaming, you're sparkling so nicely in this light. It's so pretty. I can't wait to try it on. I'm gonna have a try on later on my back. Yes, please. Yes. 
Amelia is looking so cute. Oh, look at you, my gorgeous angel. Gorgeous, gorgeous angel, and the red bag. Oh! I'm obsessed with it. Your brunette hair and that bag is such a vibe. Right, guys, are you ready? It's gorgeous. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. The drinks are arriving. These look so good. Oh my god, thank you. Cheers, guys. It looks so good! Wow! Oh my god! Wow, that looks so good! It looks amazing. I get, I keep getting, like, I forget that I have it, and then Vic will be like, "I just love the fringe," and I'm like, "Oh god, what does it look like?" Yeah, it's a new, it's a totally new personality on you. I really like it. Doing fringe. Yeah. When we were talking, earrings. Yeah, but the woman in the shop with the. What one did we go into for the jackets for you? That lady, she had a fringe. I was like, oh my god, all the fringe people have fringe. That's so cute. <laughs> That's such a good point. Amelia just said, how? Because French people are effortless, but fringes are a lot of effort. So French girlies, how are you doing this? They must just have like wash and go fringes. <laughs> no, there is. There is. They just. I'm not, I don't, I'm, I don't have a wash and go fringe. This is a wash and air wrap fringe. Just trying on Vicks Holland Cooper dresses, look at us. We look like a girl band, we look like, what is it, an avid like tribute well, band where they wear all the glittery yeah, stuff. Everyone says I have an addiction to making things short and I do. No we do. But do you know what, I don't understand why it's longer on. I want to give legs. <laughs> Right. Oh my god, we're so cute. And then Vic is wearing the full length one, which is also really gorgeous. So but cute. we love a mini. We love the legs. Oh look at here she is. Mummy! <laughs> Mum's here! <laughs> Mum's here! Vic in heels next to us without heels. It's just no, then we do tiptoes. And we have to do this. It's all an illusion, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy matcha. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Matcha in Paris. Amelia's getting the breakfast shop. <laughs> You're a pro from back in the day at doing this. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my god, guys, look. Tiny maple syrup. Oh my god. Perfect for my matcha. Victoria's just sat there and she just sighs and goes, I'm just thinking about life. <laughs> It's getting deep. Oh, you've got Ted. Oh. So cute. How old is that, Teddy? You know? Not that old yet. But we'd be only like five years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's so I sweet. Come since birth. No. Then why does this bear look like it's 30 years old? <laughs> He's loved. Well. He's Why so does loved. Why look like he's <laughs> <laughs> That is not. <laughs> he's in Botox. <laughs> you can have a facelift soon. You'll be eligible. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I am all ready for the day. Vic is going off to do a little thing with L'Oreal this afternoon. And me and Amelia are going to go for lunch before we go home. So I have just got dressed and wearing a black body this is like a really old one i think from is it skims maybe skims and then i've got my motel jeans and my cute new trainers which i don't think i showed you but i love them i might wear my fluffy coat today tbc sometimes i feel like the fluffy coat is really ott but at the same time i love it and it's like such autumn vibes but i also wore it yesterday afternoon so i don't know but what i am going to wear are my new sunnies which i wanted to show you also how cute are the mimi bags i've never bought anything from a mimi store and the bags are so cute so i'm actually gonna pack that in my case and take it home because that's the kind of person I am. Yeah, I picked up a pair of sunnies. I might actually already have this style but in a different colour, like a completely wildly different colour. So I wanted the summer version of these because they're just the nicest sunglasses. The pink case is everything. We love a girly vibe. But yeah, these are the sunglasses. So these are the winter version of my sunglasses that I had in the summer, which are like gold transparent sunglasses and i've literally worn them solidly since may i'm obsessed with them they made my summer outfits so complete and i love the shape of them like whether i have fringe or no fringe i just love the shape and they're like a brown tortoiseshell which is so nice and then they've got the big gold mimi on the side i just love them so much 
match. So yeah, I'm really happy with those. I just love these sunglasses. They're iconic. I still have so many from like back in the day, like 2015, 2014. I just love them. They're the funnest. They're always my best, most worn sunglasses. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna be so sad to say goodbye to this room now. This room has been amazing. It's so big. We've got this like corner junior suite thing. So we have this amazing living room. And then we have the bedroom. We had like little seven dwarf beds set up in here. This was mine. This was Vic's. <laughs> it's literally like seven dwarfs. This was Amelia's. So sweet. The views are just incredible look at this view it's amazing and we have like the road continues like up there and you can see it through that window which i'll show you in a second and then through here like honestly it's enormous we have a whole dressing room hey babes Hello. whole dressing room situ and the bathroom which is just enormous and gorgeous and just stunning vic is staying here another night so all of her stuff is still in here but we are all packed up and ready to go and we also have a second said, bathroom up here which we love yeah, don't we we love, we love the separate bathrooms yes can they can they see your jumper it's so cute it's so cute it's actually like a bluey color yeah, isn't it you it can't really see on camera it looks black but it's so cute it's such a nice little navy jumper gorgeous we, gorgeous gorgeous should we, um, should we go, go and do should we go go and do spendy things to feel something yeah yeah i would love to feel something um, we're joking when we <laughs> we're say joking. that okay we're joking <laughs> It's an inside joke. It's an inside joke, please. Don't, don't, yeah, you can be part of the club now, you know. The queen is feeling spendy this morning. She's feeling spendy. Wow. So pretty. Is it 36? But try maybe 34. Oh my god, this is so cute. Stunning. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. It's very boxy, actually. It's boxier than I thought it was. No, I think that's nice. It's like making you look taller. It's so cute. It's a little more size in one. Size, of course. <gasps> two in one. Oh, it's really cute. Yeah, oh my I'm god. This, this model, we are French pharmacying. Oh my god. My heaven. So much. Oh, the Caudalie. The Caudalie. I actually used some of this this morning. I used this serum, which is apparently like Botox in a bottle. I think it did good things. I really do. I tried the eye cream. <gasps> no, I haven't tried the eye cream. Do they have the eye cream here? I don't think they do. I'm so blind. Maybe they do, but I can't see it. Having a little lunch in Le Lobby, which is stunning. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have a feast. Thank you so much. <gasps> wow. The sauce did not need to be on the side for me, just Amelia, but let's go ham on the sauce. Woo oh my god. Delicious. <gasps> These nuts are amazing. Bon appetit. Amelia has also asked me to remind you that fries are en route. We're not just having a salad yeah. at lunch. Fries are en route. We, we're salad and fries girly. We are. Do you know what it used to be before I gave up fizzy drink? Salad, fries and a Coke. A full pack Coke. That, I see loads of TikToks about that being like the hot girl lunch, basically. But I don't like Coke. Oh, you don't? Um, oh. I hate fizzy drinks. Even sparkling water. No, I don't like sparkling water, but a Fanta fruit twist, a Fanta orange, or a Coke. Those are my. And you don't have them? No, I gave them up because I find them really addictive. Do you? Yeah. How many were you having? In lockdown, I was having multiple Fanta fruit twists a day, and it's sort of that for you. Why? Because it's full of like enough. Yeah, sugar. Just so much sugar. Anyway, waiting for the price. Bye, Peninsula. Love you. Such nice doorman. The doorman was my jelly cat that's hanging on my bag. <laughs> he really liked it. I got the website up and everything. <laughs> we made it home. I'm so happy to leave you. Yeah. Oh. It's actually so cute. That's so nice. It's like even just sitting on our phones together. I know. Like we were on the train. <laughs> it's just like comforting sitting yeah, and scrolling like, next to someone. We just scroll in silence. Even just like on the train where you're not like yapping the whole time. Nice, like, we have a very comfortable yeah. silence, but also a good jam. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah, 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 a, lot of <laughs> a lot of yaps were had. Mm -hmm.